Okay, Keyshan here, directcarbon.ca. Uh, what we got today is very, very difficult room. I'm going to take you over here and show you. It's a split room where the stairs are in the middle. And there's pole there, pole there, pole there, and a pole there. So we have to run our piece of carpet through that and do a scene. Uh, we are flowing the carpet with the way that the stairs are flowing. Um, what I am attempting to do, or what I like to do, is in between these two posts, if you can see, is uh, it's about nine feet. See how the carpet goes up those poles? Three feet. Well, when you're rolling out a piece of carpet that's 30 feet long by 12 in a nine foot wide by 30 space, you can see it's very loose. It was very hard for us to roll this out. So, we have to do the exact same piece over here. And we have to run that 30 foot piece through that little space. You see between the stairs and the posts? That's about three feet. We're gonna run a 30 footer by 12 through a three foot hole. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do this. Now what I've attempted to do, or what I'm going to attempt to do, is I've rolled this out because we need a space to roll this out. It's freezing cold, it's winter, it's January 7th, and it is minus 17 below. So you can't exactly roll this piece of carpet outside. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna pre-cut this down to fit in this spot here. Uh, then we're gonna roll that other piece of carpet out over here. Now usually we do this side first, but there's no way that we're going to roll out another 30 foot piece of carpet and run it through there without ripping the walls apart and everything. So I'm going to uh, pause this video. I'm going to go over here and uh, I'm going to attempt my pre-cutting. And then uh, we'll, uh, we'll see you in a minute. Okay, so we're back. That, uh, that time frame was probably about a half hour from the last time I spoke to you, even though you seeing it. Um, next frame. So what we're doing right now is Tyler's getting prepared here with the underpad because when we go to put this through uh, we're not going to want to pad this after. And now what we do usually is we will not pad in a basement sometimes. Like over here we won't pad this uh, until we roll out the piece of carpet because the, pa the, ca the backing of the carpet is so abrasive that it'll just sh it just shreds the pad and we use top of the line gold under pad here as you can see uh, with the vapor barrier um, so we usually roll the carpet out first before we pad then we flip the carpet side to side and pad but in this case here we have like you know no room like we got like I said three feet I guess it looks a little bit more from this angle uh, but it's about three feet and then we have to put a 30 footer now I told you I was gonna pre cut it down now I've already pre-cut it down and straight edge the seam edge. You can see the straight edge there. Um, you can see that I've, I've overlapped it there. The cutout is there. And that cutout is from where the washroom is there. Now the reason I cut it out is because when I roll this down and I flip this up, I've got these posts to deal with. And that means my carpet here is gonna slide up the post there. So if I didn't cut that six feet I cut off there. If I didn't cut that six feet, that six feet would ride right up here like on this post and I would just rip the paint and everything out of this post. This is a pretty tricky install. Um, I've never filmed this so I hope you guys get uh, get some uh, get some use out of this one. Um, I'm going to uh, turn it off. We are going to roll that piece up and the next time I see you we'll have this in place. Okay, what we thought is we'd give you a little bonus video. Tyler said give him a bonus video. So we had that rolled out over here where there's no seam of hand, where there's no pad, and we folded it up until it was in a nice small piece. We kind of pre-measured it and we knew where it would go. Then we rolled the whole thing up like a snowball and we've already unrolled it from there. And I'm just gonna show you what Tyler's gonna do here. And he's gonna roll it out. This is how we get it between this little area. Now you can see what I'm talking about. It is not a lot of room to roll a 30 foot by 12 foot piece of carpet out. So there's your bonus video. I'm going to just come around this side so you can see exactly what we did. 
So see that? Pretty cool, eh? Okay, so the next step is, is what Tyler and I are going to do. We're going to kind of uh, get it in place so we know exactly where the seam is. We're going to make some cuts and then uh, we'll see. Okay, we're back. Uh, the magic of TV. It's been about an hour for uh, us since we last spoke with you. But uh, any of you know that uh, have flipped a house on TV, it only, only takes a half hour to flip a house. So, what we did, you guys saw us roll that piece through. Now we've got it all laid out, as you can see. It's formatted out. All that pre-cutting I did. And we still gotta flip it over and do that area. But here is the seam. So we've done the other side, and we cut around that pole. We got a cross seam there, and we got a nice long seam here. Now, just because the way of this job, um, this seam ended up being in the middle of the staircase. Now, usually that's a no-no. We really try to put it, you know, I'll put my foot out so you guys can see. We really try to put it, you know, like in line with the poles usually, um, or in line with this pole. Uh, people were trying to save some money, so we put it where we put it. So, any of you uh, feel free to put those comments on and go, hey, that's not where the seam's supposed to go. Uh, that's where the seam's going. So. We kind of wanted to show you that, that setup, because that setup was really difficult. I mean, I'm about to seam that up, but that's pretty cool. I mean, you know, that took a while. We've been here for two and a half hours to set that up, uh, but we are ready to go. So we'll uh, we'll see you uh, we'll see you in a few minutes. For us, it'll be an hour. For you, it'll be uh, 30 seconds. Bye. Okay, so uh, it's probably been an hour since I last talked to you. Uh, we are done. Uh, Vince will, uh, the homeowner will probably put the baseboard on later, but that is all seamed up. It's all stretched in. It's all done. Nice carpet. If you wonder what kind of carpet this is, this is Opus by Bullyu. It, uh, Bullyu in Canada is Bullyu. In the States, it's Bollyu. <laughs>